I'm Lydia Arguello. And I'm Tristan Jewett. And, and you're, you're watching In, in the, the News at, at CHS. CHS. As deadlines close, colleges finish sending out their admissions letters. Daisy Martinez spoke to some of the members of the class of 2024 to learn more about their college acceptances. Hi, my name is Daisy Martinez with the News at CHS and I'm here with Camila Salaña. So what colleges did you end up applying to? I applied to Fresno State, Chico State, Cal Poly Pomona, and Cal Poly Luis Obispo. And what college are you going to be attending? I'm going to be attending Fresno State. And what are you going to major in? I'm going to be majoring in animal science. I'm here with Ray Elena. So what colleges did you apply to? I applied to Oregon University and Fresno State. And where are you going to major in? I'm going to major in law. And what college are you planning to attend? Um, I'm still deciding on that. I'm here with Cassandra Trejo. And what colleges did you apply to? I applied to Fresno State. And what college are you attending? I haven't decided yet, actually. And what are you going to be majoring in? I'm going to be majoring in early childhood education. Thank you. I'm here with Cabal Gabriel. And what colleges did you apply to? I applied to the CSU full intern to Northridge and Fresno State. And what's your major? My majoring in nursing. And what college are you going to attend? I actually haven't decided yet. Thank you. As graduation approaches and colleges send out decisions, it's important to have a plan for financial aid. The easiest way to receive some financial aid is through scholarships. Seniors, check the scholarship bulletin as scholarships are still available and new ones are being posted. Hi, I'm Leila Gamis in the news at CHS, and I'm here with Ms. Brown to talk about the scholarships. So, Ms. Brown, are there still scholarships available for seniors? Yes, um, depending on when this gets posted, there are 21 scholarships still available. Um, two are due April 5th, which is tomorrow. Um, something I've noticed is that there's not many seniors applying for scholarships. Um, so if you need assistance with that, please feel free to come to the counseling office if you have questions. What do students need for their scholarship? Um, it depends um, for different scholarships, right? So some require that you have a letter of recommendation. So if you don't have those, make sure you are giving teachers or whoever you're asking for a letter of recommendation for enough notice so that they have time to go ahead and write that for you. Um, also, it's always good to give them some kind of paper that lists um, like what they can describe in that paper. So what um, extracurriculars you're involved in, any sports, any community service um, opportunities you've had, anything that makes you a good candidate for them to write about you would be perfect to put in there. Um, sometimes there's also different scholarships that have different requirements, right? Um, so for example, some are based off like ethnicities, like you must identify as black or African American. So there are scholarships where you might only qualify for that. Um, not everybody does qualify. So just making sure you're reading through each scholarship to see if you actually meet the requirements. And what advice could you give the students? Um, I have a few things I would advise students to do. Even if you feel that you don't meet um, the requirements that a scholarship is requesting or asking, um, that money has to go somewhere, right? So even if you feel like, um, oh, I'm like 0 0.01 off from meeting that GPA requirement, say you're the only one that applies, um, you might still be given that scholarship even though you don't necessarily meet those requirements because you're the only one that's applied. Prom is only two weeks away. As people are buying their tickets and creating their prom proposals, the hunt for a dress begins. But some people don't have to travel as far to find the perfect prom dress. Here's Sean McLean for more information. Hi, I'm Sean McLean. I'm here with Ms. Berlin, the Activities Director of ASV, who's in charge of prom closet. So what is a prom closet? Well, our prom closet right now is just over in the corner. It's a um, donations of previous students or families in the community that have donated dresses. So people could borrow them for one of our proms or formals, and then they can um, turn them back in. We're going to start that today. So at lunch today, if you want to come shop for your prom dress, you are more than welcome to come to the North Wing 310 and look for a dress. Thank you. That's Miss Berlin. Two weeks ago, Malia Walker won the Miss Central Valley's teen competition. Our reporter spoke with her directly. Over to interviewer Rodolfo Gonzalez Rojo for more. Thank you, Tristan. I'm here with Malia Walker, Miss Central Valley's teen. So Malia, what made you compete? 
So I was actually really obsessed with this TV show called Kim of Queens. It aired in about like 2015, 2014. And on it, this lady called Kim uh, basically made these like country girls into pageant queens. And I thought, hey, I wonder if there's any pageants around uh, Kalinga or around, you know, where I live. So I decided to compete. I actually first competed for Miss Fresno County's teen, lost that, but then unexpectedly, um, literally a week before competition, I decided to enter into Miss Central Valley's teen. And now here I am. And what are you going to do with this title now that you have it? So I think my year as title holder, I really want to promote my community service initiative. One of the things in uh, the Miss America organization that we really like to promote is community service. My community service initiative is called Share the Stage, um, which is advocating for children in rural communities to get access to theater education. So I really just want to take all of the different rural communities in the Central Valley and get them access to one of my biggest passions, which is theater. And in one word, what would you explain this? What would you explain this experience? Unexpected. Definitely. <laughs> and that was Malia Walker. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Rolly. Here's Ryan McDaniel with this week's Horn Toad Highlights. Thank you, Tristan. This week is the start of League for Boys Baseball and Girls Softball. Boys Baseball plays against Dos Palace at home today, and so do Girls Softball. They beat King City 15-4. Thank you, Ryan. I'm here with uh, number 13, Genesis Barrera, to, uh, last Friday's uh, game pitcher for softball. So uh, what was going through, throughout your mind whenever you were checking out those people? Um, just pitch by pitch and trying to give it my all. Was this your best game so far? No, I've had better. And I'm here with number 17 who hit a home run this game. So uh, what was going throughout your mind when you hit that? Um, just to do my best and hit it hard to win. <laughs> Thank you. Baseball starts at 4 and softball starts at 3.30. So good, good luck out there today. Boys Tennis also plays against Das Palace at 3.30, and they're at home. Hi, I'm Tom Clean. I'm here with In News at CHS, here with Giovanni Mendes, the captain of our boys tennis team. So how do you feel about keeping undefeated record this season in the league? Uh, I feel pretty good, going strong, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, knowing the fact that the, our biggest competitor this season is probably Dos Palos, but, uh, I, but I feel pretty strong, you know? Do you believe you can keep this record like last time, like last season? Uh, I do believe I could keep this record like last season because, you know, this is a cakewalk for me, honestly. Now, are you ready for an area tournament that's coming up pretty soon? Uh, I would say no. No, I'm not ready, unfortunately. I'll take some, it'll take some time. That's your Ronnie Mendes. Thank you. Swim is also coming up on April 11th against Sierra, and they're competing against him. Track and field is having a meet on April 10th, so be on the lookout for that. Don't forget that cheer trials are coming up. Here's field reporter Giovanna Escamilla with more info. I'm Giovanna. I'm here with Miss Trial Clinic and Trial Week. Okay, so the clinic is going to be mainly learning the material that they are going to do at the tryout. They are going to learn a dance, a fight song, and a cheer, and they're also expected to um, learn a couple jumps and perform those jumps at the tryout. And what do students need to the tryout? So for the actual clinic, they're going to need to have proof of insurance. Um, they should also technically wear athletic wear because they're going to be moving and bring water. For the actual tryout, they're going to need to make sure that they have, again, that proof of insurance. And then there's also going to be a couple papers that they have to fill out before they can try out. Is there any specific um, attire for actual tryouts? For this year, we're probably going to do athletic shoes, a white shirt, and black shorts again as well as having their hair up and neat. Thank you. Trials will be held in the hub next week from 3.30 to 6. Thanks Ryan. And thank you so much for tuning in. Now remember if it's important it'll be in, in the, the news, news at CHS. CHS.